Current efforts to hunt for extraterrestrial life have almost completely centered on transmitting and searching for radio signals. The James Webb Space Telescope is reportedly capable of searching for signs of life on distant exoplanets. Some astronomers believe that extraterrestrial life may exist in the mysterious Kuiper Belt, suggesting that we may not have to look so far. What appears to be the narrative of a Hollywood science fiction film is actually a possibility that two scientists are entertaining and exploring. The Kuiper Belt, a region of space outside our solar system in the shape of the donut, is no stranger to unusual objects. It was the year 2015. The New Horizons spacecraft has recently completed its mission to Pluto. On its way to its next destination, it noticed a gigantic object crawling over the Kuiper Belt's vacuum. The visual quality is such that it is evident that Earthlings enjoyed picturing all far possibilities. It appears to be a grainy photograph of a UFO, the prevalent sentiment at the time. The Kuiper Belt is expansive and enigmatic extremely cold and pitch black. A great area for an alien race to hide in the vicinity of our solar system. Numerous components of the belt have diameters between 100 and 1500 kilometers. What are considered to be the leftovers of the genesis of the solar system? The Kuiper belt is composed of space boulders that had nowhere else to go after being abandoned. Without Neptune, these objects would have had a good chance of becoming planets. However, Neptune's gravity stifled their hopes of ever becoming more. It is now common knowledge that tiny planets can bounce from one star to another, altering their planets of origin. Astronomers believe that many of the frozen objects in the Kuiper Belt, which sits at the edge of our galaxy, may be harboring alien invaders who are slowly making their way toward our solar system from another. Is there a method to examine this cold? Dark, Far away location if everything up to this point has been speculative. Maybe. Consider for a moment how much light humanity produces on Earth. Imagine how our dark side would appear from a space-based observatory, such as the International Space Station or a distant space telescope. Similarly, if we can suppose that alternative civilizations would progress from enjoying only natural lighting, could we not also presume that they would develop artificial lighting sources? Then, are we able to see artificially illuminated objects out there in space? Two scientists agree. Avi Loeb of Harvard and Edwin L. Turner of Princeton believe it merits consideration and investigation. Up to a certain distance, the array of terrestrial telescopes currently available to science can confidently observe a light source with a brightness comparable to that of a big metropolis. Astronomers can currently measure the orbital parameters of Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, with the utmost precision by observing their flux and calculating their changing orbital distances. However, is it feasible to perceive light if it appeared on the dark side? Current optical telescopes and surveys, according to Lube and Turner, would be able to detect this amount of light at the edge of the solar system, and observations with large telescopes can measure the spectra of KBOs to determine if they are illuminated by artificial light using a logarithmic slope. While the majority of Kuiper Belt objects are assumed to be relics from the birth of our solar system, the presence of a few objects with exceptionally extended orbits cannot be explained. Sedna, a recently found mini-planet, is one such instance. Objects like Sedna, according to astronomers researching the Kuiper Belt, may have originated from another star during a near encounter with the sun. Possibly when the stars were young, only tens of millions of years old, and lived in a densely populated cluster. However, the presence of any indications of life has not yet been definitively established. Expert computer calculations indicate that the gravity of a passing star may have activated the Kuiper Belt. Some of the objects may have been ejected and sent into vast eccentric orbits. Astronomers are attempting to observe distant Kuiper Belt objects with comparable orbits to Sedna in order to determine whether or not this is true, having steep and elliptical orbits. If they are successful in locating additional Sedna-like objects, it will indicate that they all once orbited another star, an extraterrestrial star. 
Suppose there are aliens that have traveled from the furthest reaches of our solar system and who now seek to create their own planet and live clandestinely. Live in secrecy until they are capable of invading Earth. Where might they possibly set up camp? It appears that Planet 9 would be ideal. To explain the orbits of certain trans-Neptunian objects, astronomers initially proposed the concept of Planet 9. They had no idea how prominent this concept would become in the conversation around the search for extraterrestrial life. Planet 9 has a mass that is 5 to 10 times that of Earth. Seeing it from Earth would be extremely difficult, but not impossible, given its orbital distance. Only the Subaru telescope on Earth would be capable of observing it. However, even this is a gamble, as scientists have no notion where the satellite is in orbit. All that is known is that this massive object in space appears to exert a powerful gravitational attraction. Planet 9 would make perfect sense if aliens intended to come to our solar system and establish a base on a vast planet in secret, away from humanity and our technology. Since this planet is considered to have originated from beyond our solar system, it may have been placed here on purpose by an alien civilization to spy on us. Until now, Planet 9, if it exists, has not been discovered. Despite all the ideas, scientists are uncertain as to whether it even exists. How about some sour grapes? Perhaps. Possibly not.